Hey everybody, welcome back again, nice to see you. Uh, today I want to talk about the King of DIY, Joey Mullen, Waru Joey. Um, it's kind of a difficult video to make because I definitely don't want to throw any hate that way, but love him or hate him, and plenty of people are in either camp, I think I'm kind of in the middle, but... If you don't know, uh, Joey Mullen, the king of DIY, he's probably the number one YouTuber in the aquarium space or the fish space. He's got almost a million subscribers, hashtag jealous. Um, he's definitely the number one guy in the game. Young guy, loads of videos, lots of useful information out there. Um, but there's a camp of people that can't stand him and there's a camp of people that he can do no wrong for. Personally, he was probably the first channel I ever subscribed to on YouTube. Uh, I bought the book, I bought the t-shirt, I have the stickers on my tanks. Um, but lately, he's really started to annoy me. And this isn't just about, Ooh, you should be making the videos I want to watch all the time, not this crap you've got out now. It's more just about <laughs> me expressing my disappointment that I've not got the videos I want to watch there. It's it's not Joey's fault, it's my fault. Um, well, it's not even my fault, it's no one's fault. It's just a thing that's happening. There are things that are starting to bug me about his videos and his channel. He started off doing lots of DIY builds and how-tos and showing people how to make a filter, make a tank, make a background, whatever it might be. Um, regular, everyday things that were really useful for lots of people and I, I've used some of them as well. Um, more recently, and I think one of the bigger complaints is more recently he's moved away into bigger and better and more fanciful things. So we've now got the aquarium gallery, we've now got the 2,000 gallon uh, aquarium, it's not 2,000 gallons. We've got ponds, we've got stacking aquariums. None of it's DIY really, uh, it's lots of it's sponsored by various companies who have given them tanks or equipment or lights. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of pounds. Even the gallery itself is fan funded the majority. Um, I put out a GoFundMe or whatever it was, and again, I contributed to that because I've enjoyed lots of his content. Um, so there's been a definite shift away from the, the DIY into just more chasing views I would say and there's nothing wrong with that that's that what he wants to do that's his livelihood thing great um, but he's been getting also more manic and more weird uh, the presentation style has shifted a little bit and kind of gets the, the mad eyes um, so I, I don't know what's going on there whether it's just that search for more and more things to make content about and trying to appeal um, energetic and present your content in a way that other YouTubers are doing. You're more non-aquarium YouTubers, the way it's all fast jump cuts constantly and just keeping the brain engaged, fast moving pictures, big colours, ah, 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 ah. subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. There has been lingering rumours uh, and alleged, 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 I, I don't know this for sure, but a lot of the tanks that he's built, other people have claimed to have built them and made a deal with them and then he's reneged on the deal and claimed it as his own work. I have no idea how true that is, but if you do a quick Google, you find plenty of people to claim to have built his big 375 gallon uh, aquarium, there's a whole thread on it. Um, so there's some shady stuff there. I, I don't want to add to that, I don't want to take away from it. I have no reason to believe it's true or not true, um, but there are rumors there. I want Joey to make the videos he wants to make. In fact, I want Joey to do whatever the hell he wants to do. This is more about me just pointing out that if you watch Joey's channel and happen to watch mine, don't think that all the information you see on his is perfect and all mine is terrible. A lot of mine is terrible too. No, a lot of his is really good and some of it's not so good. He's just not the infallible beast that some of his subscribers will make him out to be. King of DIY, the, one, he doesn't do any DIY anymore really. There still is the odd bit. The fact that when you see him doing some DIY stuff, he's not very good at it and makes quite some mistakes. I always watch his videos and I find myself going, 
the last one was he flooded his uh, room away while he was away and it had killed a load of fish and it was blamed it on a pipe bursting and he blamed it on a pipe bursting but what he'd done is he had clamped a jubilee clip onto a hose a ribbed hose and anyone that knows anything about DIY or any kind of basic plumbing knowledge is you know not to do that because that will crimp the hose itself and cause it to be structurally weak and fail. Surprise, surprise, that's what happened. There's a special type of clamp that you get for those hoses. Um, putting electrical components down low on the floor in a wet room. Uh, there's lots of what I would call own goals or um, unforced errors when it comes to some of the disasters that he's had and he's been having more and more disasters recently and again I'm not blaming him for all these well I kind of am blaming him for all these things but everyone makes mistakes and everyone has problems but someone who's the self-proclaimed king of something shouldn't be making these rookie mistakes and so there is a level of arrogance there which is starting to bubble up a little bit I think um, and if you're going to claim to be the king of something, you better be goddamn flawless at doing it. And it just isn't at the moment. Kind of more the drama queen of DIY rather than the king of DIY. There's lots of chasing views, and again, there's nothing wrong with that in, a, in and of itself. Uh, clickbaity titles and all that kind of stuff, which is just par for the course. That's all perfectly normal. But I'm just getting a little bit frustrated watching it. Um, for the content that I used to see, and it's just not there anymore. And there's nothing wrong with that, there's no contract that he's written to make videos that I like or that you like. He's going to make the videos that he likes and that get him the views and gets him interested. Um, and, and that's perfectly fine, so I don't want to have a go at him from that point of view. So the biggest thing recently that he's been doing has been his aquarium gallery and the big 2,000 gallon build. Uh, fundamentally I don't believe it's 2,000 gallons, I think he's got his measurements wrong or doesn't know how to work out what the volume of an aquarium is. Um, I've made a video about that before, about how to work out the volume of your aquarium. I shall put a link up here somewhere and that will explain why I think he's got it wrong. But he's just constantly chopping and changing. Now I know some of that will be driven from the need to get three videos out a week or however many videos it is he wants to make. But there's a point where that drive and desire to produce content is having a negative impact on the content he's producing and I think he's past that point. There's a constant need to produce that content and quite often I think he's putting the fish or the environment the fish are living in, not necessarily in danger but is needless uh, risks. Every time you move a fish from one aquarium to another there's a risk. It's not a nice thing to do so you try and keep it to a minimum. But this year alone he must have changed that big tank, the big 375 gallon tank, he must have changed that three or four times. If you're not keeping up with his videos every week you've got no idea what's going to be in any of these tanks. It's, oh, I've just got to do this, I've just got to do that, I'm moving this over here and over there and over there and back again. I mean I change, I think I change my things around quite a lot and I'm nowhere near what he's up to. Um, even changing rooms around as to what they're doing. Um, I mean, I think he's only had that gallery up a year and a bit or so but he's already changed it three or four times as to what each area is going to do. One had to be a desk area because it was imperative he had a desk area and then that became a tank area and then another tank. Then that came out and the tank moved back, the tank moved forward, that became a pond. It's relentless and uh, yes it's content and yes there is some useful information in there but you I think most of the experienced guys are kind of going, yeah, he's doing stuff for the sake of doing stuff rather than because it needs to be done. And I don't think that's always helpful, especially for the more of the novice viewers. Um, he will always have his fans that say he can do no wrong and everything's really useful, but it's practically becoming a meme. He made videos about arowana and how they are prone to jump and it's quite uh, key and critical that you don't have a lot of decoration in the tank. Then he puts it in a tank with a lot of decoration, it jumps, breaks its back and dies. Did you not see that? Did you not tell us that was going to happen? Oh, I just, um, he's made videos on how to cool down an aquarium. The one that came out the other day, or today even, is about how his aquarium got too hot and all his fish died. Buy an air conditioner. 
by some fans, run them over the top of the, the there are a few things that can be done. Um, I know people will say, oh he's tried this, he's tried that, it's, it happens to us, all these mistakes happen. If I had that amount of money invested in livestock and equipment, I'd be on Amazon buying a couple of air conditioners, even hiring them. But there's other things that just get my goat. The way you'll talk in one video about, boom, here's a tank, it's full of goldfish, I've always wanted goldfish. Two weeks later, phew, goldfish are gone. Yeah, we don't need goldfish. I'll bring them back, I'll bring them back, honest, never to be seen again. There's all sorts of things like that. The the tank leaking, the oh, whatever it might be, I forgot to put a lid on. Yes, everyone makes mistakes and you forget to put lids on and you lose fish that way. It just happens an awful lot. Yes, he's had a lot of deaths recently and there's nothing wrong with that. If they're genuine mistakes then my heart goes out to him. It's not nice when you lose a pet like that. I think he's making a rod for his own back in some cases. There's just better ways to do some of these things. But at the end of the day, he's a success on YouTube. He's the biggest player in the aquarium game. I just don't think it's the best channel out there, I guess is what I'm saying. I, by no means am I suggesting this is the best channel. Got nowhere near what he's got in terms of audience. Um, and I would never claim to be an expert in anything, as you will plainly have seen if you've seen many of my videos. But he's really starting to put me off and I know there's no contract between him and me that he's going to make contact I like. It's just a bit disappointing when you've been following someone for so long and you just start to see it going slightly downhill. Uh, it's just it's just annoying. That's, I guess that's where I started the video. It's a little bit annoying to me. I wish him no ill feelings. It ends on a more positive note. The channels that I really am enjoying at the moment um, our channels like Aquarium Co-op. That has again gone on a journey from very much a one-man band showing you how to build things. He built out his fish room, he talked about his fish store, this is Corey McElroy from Aquarium Co-op. That's gone from a very one man with a phone or a camera or a camcorder to someone that's made huge investments in his YouTube uh, world and his approach to YouTube. Not, not least hiring an editor to make the quality of the the actual technical content, the filming of the content has come on a lot better. He explains in great depth his um, thinking behind his approach to YouTube and I think that goes a long way to taking you along with that journey so that you can see all oh, these are trying to achieve this, he's trying to make how-tos and cover all these issues and areas as well as just the regular vlog type style things and I don't know whether it's a, it's a trust thing or not but when Corey from Aquarium Co-op tells you something about a fish or a product or a technique there seems to be a lot more behind that that I generally instantly believe that's coming from a place of experience or a voice of reason I often he will explain what the reasoning for that decision is and it's not always the conventional wisdom that he's given me, it's usually an experience uh, and I very rarely disagree with things that he's done there. And again that's just the way that you can show our channel can go from something quite small, which it was, I think there was only 3,000 subscribers or something like that when I first started watching that one, that's way over 100,000 now. Um, but there are other channels as well that, that aren't necessarily in that same bracket as the Aquarium Co-ops and the DIY, King of DIY and all that kind of stuff, Michael's Fish Room. Good friends with Michael, enjoy his content a lot. Pond Guru, loads of stuff about filtration and filters and all that kind of stuff. Rachel O'Leary, Dustin's Fish Tanks, they're all good to dip in and out of I think. Um, I will generally watch most of the aquatic content out there just to see what's going on and what people are doing and all that kind of stuff and get some ideas of what I can do myself and try them out myself and really that's what it's all about Bob Steenfort, not to forget Bob Steenfort obviously gave me a shout out in one of his videos recently um, so I think if you spend a little bit of time looking through these channels you can find the ones that are more suited to you and I guess what I'm trying to say now is the King of DIY's channel used to be one of those for me and it's kind of gone down the pecking order I'm just not enjoying it as much 
uh, and that's a shame but I just hope Joey's okay because he seems to be going a bit frantic recently uh, like I say the presentation style's that of a man that's got some uh, demons or issues going on there um, but all the best to him I would love to be in his position where I've got all those tanks to play with I possibly wouldn't play with them quite as much as he does but that's personal choice if that's what you want to do then you go for it and that's fine just one final quick shout out there's a channel that has only recently come to my attention and it's shot straight to number one on my list of uh, aquarium channels to watch I think they've only got something like two or three videos uh, but Robot Aquariums, I'll try and put a link up here and a link in the description you've got to check that out, it's, it's brilliant um, so we'll sign off on a positive thanks again for watching and listening to my moaning and ranting um, I'm sure Joey won't see any of this and I'm sure if he does he won't really care um, but that's my tuppence on the subject what do you think? let me know in the comments and if this is your first time here click that subscribe button Make sure you check out some of my other videos and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!